sit right here and bite my time As long as it takes to get what's mine Okay, uh, this is 619 DJ2 here for another edition of the Friday Night Smackdown sh review show. This is January uh, 9th, 2009. So we have a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's get on with it right now. Alright, uh, Smackdown started off with uh, Jim Ross uh, talking about uh, Jeff Hardy and his girlfriend were involved in a hit and run accident in Cameron, North Carolina. Um, he got in, they, he's fine, and, um, there's, he said he'll be back at SmackDown next week, and he will participate in the Rumble. Alright, uh, the first match of the night was, uh, one of Triple H's, uh, three matches. It was, uh, part of the Triple Jeopardy matches. Um, he received it due to, uh, disrespecting Vicky Guerrero. It was a table match against uh, world tech, uh, one of the world tag team champions, John Morrison. Uh, match starts out uh, with Triple H having momentum, looking to win in the very beginning, but Morrison shifts the momentum. Uh, some but Triple H gets Morrison on the turnbuckle. Looks well, like Morrison is about ready to throw, uh, was about ready to superflex uh, Triple H off the turnbuckle, but Triple H catches him on the turnbuckle, catches Morrison on the turn turnbuckle, and throws him into through a table on the outside of the ring, therefore giving a Triple H the victory. Alright, uh, the other, the third match, I mean the second match of the night was, uh, The Undertaker versus Shel Shelton Benjamin. Uh, the match starts with, uh, Benjamin not backing down against, uh, the Ruthless Undertaker. But Taker uh, takes Benjamin down, limb, tears him down limb by limb. Uh, Taker dominates in the beginning, but Benjamin still comes back. He did not uh, back down an inch. He still continued uh, and really fought hard against the ta against Taker, which I was really surprised. And even uh, Chop blocked Taker a few times in the leg. I thought that Taker would end up losing, but uh, Taker ends up catching Benjamin in midair and. Tim Stone Powell drives him, and Taker gets the vid the victory. Uh, that and that's pretty, and that's the match of that. Taker wins. Shelton Benjamin loses. All right, uh, there's a diva tag team action tonight. Uh, Michelle McCool versus uh, Victoria, and I mean Michelle McCool and Victoria versus the Bell Twins. Uh, McCool and uh, Brie Bella. Uh, start out the match, and Nicole and Victoria dominates in the beginning. Thought I, I mean I thought that they were gonna win, but the Bell Twins shifted the momentum, and after a missed moonsault by Victoria, one of the Bell Twins uh, picked up the pin uh, Victoria and picked up the victory. And then after the match, uh, Victoria is ambushed by Nicole, and uh, for third straight week, uh, Nicole has shifted a heel and attacked one of uh, the SmackDown Divas. Triple H had another match as uh, a handicap match against Triple H is Triple H versus the Miz and Chavo and also uh, on the first match of Triple H's uh, after that a Miz was distracted Triple H which allowed Chavo to get to throw Triple H to the table. That was on the first match of Triple H's just to let you know. Um, Miz starts out against Triple H. Triple H doesn't back down at all. It's like him hurting his left arm in the beginning. But Miz and Chavo dominate against Triple H some, but not enough to come uh, to get the victory. But in the middle of it, Miz is looking for a uh, tag against uh, Chavo. 
but Chavo leaves the apron and Miz is pedigreed by Triple H and Triple H wins the match. And then uh, Vicky Guerrero steps out af after the match and says the, his opponent in the last man standing match will be against uh, the world, the world's best athlete, the Big Show. All right. Um. There was also WWE tag team title up for for grabs tonight. Uh, Primo and Carlito versus the challengers, the Brian Kendrick and Ezekiel Jackson. Um, Primo and Ezekiel Jackson starts out the match, and it was even in the very beginning, the Primo and Carlito had like a slight advantage, but Jackson and uh, Kendrick gained more momentum throughout the match, but still it was not enough for Car uh, to win the titles from Carlito and Primo. They gained back momentum, and Carlito hits um, Kendrick with a backstabber, and they still retain the titles, and uh, I mean, Carlito and Primo still retain the titles, and that was the end of that match. Um, then also, uh, let's see, the last match of tonight was Triple H and uh, in that last man standing match against the Big Show. Uh, Big Show dominates in the very beginning, and it looked like for a while that Triple H was going to lose. Uh, but the game did not back down an inch. He continued a lot. I swear he continued. He did not give up at all. And even at, even at the very end of the match, I mean, once Triple H did pedigree, Big Show, and I thought he was done, but Big Show gets back up, uh, continues to fight. And then uh, the beaten and battered up Triple H, he... Uh, and the outside of the ring gets choked. I mean, uh, gets choked slam on one of the announce tables. Didn't break it, uh, surprisingly, but gets choked slam through one of the tables. Through the announce tables, but Triple H does not give up. Then a hard right by um, Big Show does give get the victory for him, and Triple H does not stand up at the ten count and loses the match. Uh, and that was the end of SmackDown, basically. That would be a lot more longer. That review would be a lot more longer, to be honest. I'll check to see if I missed anything. If I have, I'll, I'll go back and review it. Well, um, that was the end of the SmackDown review show. Uh, just to let you know, people, I don't know if I'll be able to do one next week because next week is the NSC, ASC Championship uh, week and I may do reviews for that game and not the SmackDown and I'm also planning on doing the Super Bowl one but that'll be like a week after the championship games for the NFL but anyways um, I hope y'all enjoyed the review as much as I did in SmackDown I thought SmackDown was pretty good overall I mean I thought it'd be a little bit more exciting, but I think it's pretty good overall. So, um, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace. I hope y'all have a good night. And if you don't like it, then 619-GJ2 say, fuck you. I'm out. See ya.